What's going on guys, it's Swimzy here, and today I have for you another Warframe video. Now, in this video, we are actually going to be looking at the Leto Incarnon. Now, I chose the Leto Vandal. You can put it on the Prime if you are a founder, or you can put it on the standard Leto. Now, I'm just going to show you a Riven build and a standard build, and I'm also going to show you what choices I chose at Cavalero in the Zaraman. And then we're going to test it out, see how well it does against level 195 enemies. So yes, I do hope you enjoy the video. If you could, please like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into the build. So this is the Leto Vandal, and I equipped the Incarnon variant onto it. And this is the build. So this is the Riven build. I will be testing this out second. I'm going to test the standard build first, but I'll show you the Riven build first. So yes, this does have a Riven, and it's a pretty good Riven. It's got plus electricity, plus multi-shot, and a little bit of fire rate decrease then we have lethal torrent for fire rate and multi-shot prime target cracker for crit damage creeping bullseye for a lot of critical chance and a little bit less fire rate pistol pestilence for 60 percent toxin 60 percent status gunslinger for fire rate galvanized diffusion for multi-shot and galvanized shot for status chance and on kill plus 40 percent direct damage per status type affecting the target we also are using Secondary Merciless, rank 5, for on-kill plus 30% damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times, and you get some reload speed. Over on the left hand side, we have the critical chance at 192%, the critical multiplier at 10 times, status at 24%, doing slash and corrosive for 780 damage. Moving on, we have the standard build. We have Hornet Strike for damage, Lethal Torrent again for fire rate and multi-shot, Target Cracker for critical damage, Pistol Pestilence for toxin and status, Scorched for heat and status, Pistol Gambit for crit chance, Barrel Diffusion for multi-shot, Deep Freeze for cold, and running the same Arcane. So yeah, let's go to Cavalero. Alright, so we are at Cavalero and he actually allows you to choose some choices for the Incarnon form. Now this Leto Vandal actually has four former on it, and what really sucks about this weapon is if you are a founder, then you might have the Prime, but normal players just like me, we can only use the Vandal or the standard variant, so you're really out of luck here if you don't have the Vandal. Anyway, moving on to the choices. We have first one, which you unlock by playing a solo mission. Second one, get 100 kills with the Incarnon form. So this choice is Haven Foray, increased damage by 22 with overshields, increased damage by 40. So this would be very good with if you decide to use Hildren or Harrow with the overshield from his first ability and many other frames that allow overshields. I chose Refied Bane, increased damage by 12, reload from empty, increased damage by 30. So this is pretty good. Moving on to Evolution 3, we can choose Exact Penance. On kill, plus 50% chance for instant reload. This could be useful. Then we have Marksman's Gain. On headshot, plus 20% chance for 50% ammo efficiency for 6 seconds. Again, could be useful, but this Leto has a lot of ammo, so it's not really worth it. And then I chose Void's Guidance, increase accuracy and reduce recoil by 50%. This is good for hitting the headshot to build up that Incarnon form. And yeah, it makes the weapon overall better in my opinion. This is probably the best choice. Then finally, Evolution 4. We have a choice of Carnage Rain, plus 40% direct damage per status type affecting the target. So next we have Death Trap Trigger, which I chose. On equip from primary, increase critical chance by 38% and increase critical damage multiplier by 2.6 times for 4 seconds. And finally we have Survivor's Edge, increase crit chance by 6% and increase status chance by 12%. Now, Death Trap Trigger is potentially the best option here, but the only problem is you have to switch from your primary to secondary to proc the crit chance and crit damage multiplier. So I will show you that in the simulacrum. So yeah, let's head over there. All right, so we are going to test this Leto Vandal Incarnon out, and I'm going to show you the standard build first. This is the standard build. I went over it beforehand, so if you want to have a quick look at what these mods are and apply them, then you can. 
but we're going to test these out on level 195 corrupted heavy gunners so i am using harrow because none of his abilities actually affect the weapon's performance and we're going to test out the Leto Vandal. Now, obviously with every Incarnon form, the standard mode is the original weapon. As you can see, it doesn't do too bad damage. And it's got around 15 shots, so you can really spam it. And that accuracy that we chose for one of the choices actually helps out with hitting the target's head to build up that Incarnon bar. And yeah. You didn't really need the instant reload, it's not really worth it, but if I actually equip a primary. So I will have a video on the Latron Prime in Carnon soon, I'm currently working on building that up. So if I switch from my primary to my secondary, as you can see we get crit chance and crit damage from that Void's Guidance. Hey guys, it's Post Editor Swimsy here, and I'm just letting you know that uh, I actually made a mistake. It is not Void's Guidance that actually causes this, it is Death Trap Trigger. So anytime I say Void's Guidance that has nothing to do with Recoil, then I actually mean Death Trap Trigger. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know in case you got confused, and I am sorry for the mistake. So yeah, enjoy the video. So it is very useful. So what you really want to do is activate the Incarnon, and the Incarnon actually is pretty useful it targets enemies around as well now it will only it looks like it's affecting multiple targets but it's only affecting up to four build that incarnon back up and yes so by having voids guidance you pretty much switch and as you can see the damage builds up so much better than without it So I'm going to show you with this weapon against level 195 Corrupted Bombard Eximus just to see how it performs against those tankier enemies. And yeah, the standard build does lack compared to the Riven build. So if you do have a Riven, I would recommend using it. And to be honest, this weapon actually surprised me. I thought it was going to be absolute dog shit, but it's actually surprised me, and it does really well in Steel Path Circuit. But yeah, as you can see, the standard form is not the best when it comes to these enemies. So we're going to activate the Incarnon. And it's not too bad, it's pretty decent. But yeah, with that Void's Guidance, that will actually help it out. So we activate the Incarnon form, switch, and there we go. Now the only problem is you have to keep switching. If you look in the top right, you will see the Death Trap trigger buff activate, and it will be active for 3 seconds. So every time you're going to have to switch back to your primary to deal that extra bit of damage. And yeah, it's a bit annoying, but you do get used to it after a while. But look at that. Switch back. Get the Incarnon back very fast. Has a very fast fire rate. Now I'm going to run them again and I will use my Mirage build. Now keep in mind with all of these tests, my Mirage has the Oberon Smite ability helmet onto it, so I'm using Smite Infusion. This augment allows you to hold down the second ability, in my case, second ability and it'll grant all allies within 15 meters additional 100% radiation damage for their attacks. So it is very, very useful. So we're going to be stacking Viral, Heat, and Radiation at the same time. So one ability, hold the second, tap the third, stay in the light. And as you can see, it just becomes a monster. Look at that. Mirage just makes everything so OP. Alright, we're going to build up the Incarnon Charge again, activate it, and then if I switch from Primary, that's where the real damage kicks in. Look at that. That is way too good. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Riven build, the build that you guys have all been waiting for. And yeah, this Riven, plus Electricity, plus Multi-Shot, negative Fire Rate. It's not too bad. It does Corrosive instead of Viral. 
So, yeah, we're going to do just base corrosive to start off with. And, you know what, might as well just stick these on. No need for heavy gunners. So I gotta wait to show off the standard form. And with the gunslinger, the fire rate, the negative fire rate, actually doesn't matter at all. So yeah, as you can see, this standard form is not the best with the Riven. It's taken me a while to get through these enemies. Alright, let the Slash take care of him. Now we activate the Vandal, Incarnum. And as you can see, it still does pretty decent damage. Build that Incarnum back up. Now we're going to show you Death Trap Trigger. So switch from Primary. Switch from Primary again. So overall, this Leto isn't too bad. I actually quite like this weapon. And I'll show you why I like it with Mirage in a second. Because it's actually cracked. And hitting headshots with this thing is actually very easy. It's probably one of the easiest Incarnons to actually fully build up. So yeah. Now we're going to simulate them again. And I'm going to use Mira all of Mirage's abilities. You just build that up. And this is the standard. It's pretty good. Shreds through them. Builds up that Incarnon. Now we're going to activate the Genesis, and yeah, even without orange crits, this thing still slaps. So now I'm going to switch from my primary, and yeah, it's just way too good. So that has been the video guys, I hope you have enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe, and I have an Instagram, an official Instagram account. If you would like to follow it, it is at swimsy.yt. And I also have a Twitch. I stream a majority of the time. Sometimes I miss out due to real life situations. But I would appreciate if you guys could follow me over there. And yeah, thank you for watching. It's been Swim, guys. Later. Fearless.